because we're running 24 hours a day, we have one team doing 12 hours, the other team doing the second 12 hours. We're on the South Chatham Rise, and we're down here to collect water. Now, water samples is absolutely critical in oceanography, i.e. study of the ocean. That sort of colourless, well in this case, slightly salty liquid. You take lots of water samples as a starter. We have something called a CTD. This is our CTD. It's actually quite an elegant instrument. There's the bottles on the outside, and on the inside there's an a electronic package which measures temperature and salinity and depth. The conductivity tells you how much salt is in the ocean. Obviously, the T is going to tell you what the temperature is, and D will give you depth. We use these Niskin bottles to collect 10 liters in. They close up and we can collect water at different depths. I'm pushing the buttons, <laughs> giving the instructions. So we can tell this instrument where to fire and when. So we lower it over the side and what we're actually doing is we're measuring things on the way down and then as we come up, each one of these bottles will fire and collect water at different depths. And we know that we're gonna see different things at different depths. Yeah, I've just blown the CCD down to about 3,000 metres and I'm in contact with the scientists in the lab down below and they'll tell me when to stop and when to start bringing it up. And we'll stop at certain depths and they'll set the bottles off. Sometimes there's about 1,500 of the things to do. All different depths, of course. And yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't stop there, holding there. Yeah, right, just standing by. But there's like this currents, with the currents down there, they can take the CDD off and whiz it away on me and as long as we don't land it on the bottom, I think that's the main one. We don't want to break anything. Yeah, okay, bring it up. There's a rather nice book out on oceanography, and the cover piece is An Oceanographer's View of the Ocean. And all you see is the ocean, and there's a steel wire just going down. And a friend of mine said, you know, it really is tough trying to find out what's on the seabed with these wires. He said, it's just like, you know, sampling Earth through a cloud bank from a balloon. And coming up to 40 metres. The blue line here is the temperature sensor and as you can see, the temperature is fairly constant down to about 30, 40 metres, sitting at about 18 degrees. Then it um, slowly starts dropping off, and the deeper we get, the lower the temperature. Oh, they haven't really explained it that much depth to us, but their own little scenario, I guess. They seem to take a lot of water samples back with them. Something new always comes up. What we have now is satellite coverage. They're really only looking at the skin of the ocean, but they tell you how the ocean moves, the temperature of the ocean, they're telling you how the plankton behave, a whole range of parameters which are coming, to, coming back to us in real time. So we have great coverage of the ocean surface, but right at great depths, we're still struggling. It's, it's to me always a little strange that that, that, that humans have only been to the deepest part of the ocean once in the Marianas Trench and that's well over 50 years ago.
I guess studying oceanography and looking at these water masses is, you know, it's kind of interesting for its own sake if that's if that's your thing. But it also has an incredibly important bearing on, on the Earth's climate system.